Now that's music to my ears. Last couple weeks, I've been running off of French press because the water pump failed on this guy. Um, normally that's the sound you hear when you start up the Barista uh, Express by, uh, by Breville. This is the 870XL. Um, a couple things failed on this. One, we were able to work around for the last, oh, I don't know, two years, maybe three years. And that's the solenoid block here. So when you go to pull a shot, uh, you would get a very loud buzzing. Um, water wouldn't go to the group head and, uh, until that buzzing stopped. And that's basically the solenoid was trying to do its thing. It was trying to move the valve um, and it was struggling. Uh, so we went ahead and ordered that guy and ordered uh, the water pump as well. So we're going to be showing you how to replace the water pump and uh, the solenoid we need uh, to get this job done. You need a number two uh, Phillips head screwdriver. A set of pliers will help, but they're not ultimately necessary. Um, some picks. I have a straight pick here, one with a little bent uh, end. Uh, some some dikes here, some cutoff pliers, and uh, a couple. Um, actually, I think you need three zip ties. I already pulled a bunch of screws and the plugs. The plugs go here, here, and here. You just pop them out with a pick, and you'll have uh, screws set down deep. And you have five screws across the top. And then we come around to the front of the machine. Up in this recess, there's another screw. And then where the tamper goes, there's another screw up in here. Pulled all those out. So the next step is to pull the panels. The top just lifts up once you have the, the screws out. So you can grab it and just pop it up. Uh, you'll see this cable up front. It's uh, you need to move it out from the loop. Uh, there, holding it. So just go ahead, and slide it out, and then you have your connector. Disconnect that guy. Just go ahead and pull the top off and, uh, and set it aside. And then we're gonna pull the back panel. Um, once you've removed the three screws uh, beneath the plugs, um, you just go ahead and pull it back. Don't be scared. Just got some, some clips. Um, and then you're gonna lift up. So pull from the top a little bit to disengage the one, two clips on the side. And uh, yeah, and then lift up. Now you have uh, the water uh, feed down here. Now that um, hose attaches those two Phillips screws, just go ahead and remove those two guys and the whole mount will come out and the panel will be able to be set aside and give you a lot more room to access it. We have uh, the back of the machine wide open. This is where the water inlet is. Um, what we want to do is we need to remove this screw here and here which holds the upper mount and there's two screws just like it right below. Um, we also need to disconnect the electrical connections here for the pump and here and then pull out the uh, temperature sensor that's over on this side. All right, we also need to uh, remove the upper uh, hoses up here. This piece, uh, this T here, threads into this um, spot coming up off the pump. So we're just gonna remove the, uh, the hose over here and um, and the upper hose as well so that once we have the pump out we can just remove this and transfer it over to the other water pump. Now to remove the upper hose it's just a matter of pulling this little clip out from here and then just pulling up on the hose. Um, this other guy is a little bit more complicated or messier I should say. Got to cut off the uh, wire tie there and then we're just gonna work this hose off with a barb just work it back and forth comes off fairly easy um, and then yeah you see the pumps just turns free in there um, so the next step is to go ahead and disconnect these uh, connectors already uh, disconnected the two uh, leads 
Also pulled uh, this connector to give me some room. Goes over here on the. Jeez, uh, I don't know. That's some kind of valve there. Anyhow, and pulled the the four screws uh, that hold on the, uh, the rubber mount. Let's pull this top one off. Get it up and out of the way. There's some water in there, so be careful with that. Uh, so worked it around these wires, moved that cable, like I said, out of the way. Um, need to pull this guy out. So I just take a screwdriver and just kind of work it down, and it'll come out. And just set that aside. Um, now we need to disconnect the um, the feed hose from the bottom of uh, the pump. Yeah, and we have a wire tie there. We need to clip that guy and then um, work the hose off. Careful just to get the uh, wire tie and not, not the hose itself. And then just work that guy off. You can kind of pinch it and the pump's out. The pump out of the way, we have a lot more space to get at this uh, this valve block that's here. So I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling um, it as well before we reinstall the water pump and start up here. So just pull that clip out with your pick and then pull the line up and out of the way. Got some water coming out of there. Go ahead and disconnect your wires. Make sure. Everything goes back how it's supposed to. Move these guys out of the way. And pull the other two clips. Let's see what we got for water. Uh, all right. Yeah, there we got some water on that one. Ooh, that's a whole lot of water. So the new solenoid block comes with uh, this hose. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut it here and remove it. And then we'll go ahead and uh, take off these two screws and the block will come out. Install the new block. Make sure we got all our O-rings um, placed back where they go. And yeah. Make sure to grab those out and transfer them over. He's out. Got my paper towel in here drying off a little bit of water that overran. You can see these two notches right here um, slip in on the, the bottom of the valve um, solenoid block right there and there. So when you go to remove it, you need to lift it up. Well, this little screw right here is going to get in your way, so you got to kind of tilt it out, then lift it up. I'm going to go ahead and insert the valve block and install the hose, new hose, down onto uh, this port. I've already placed my O-rings um, on those lines so I don't forget them, and I've turned them up all out of the way. So we're going to insert this guy like so, dropping the hose on that port and then just kind of working it around getting that to seat properly and then we'll turn it turn it down set it on top of the notches and put my screws in here and here alright so now with the hose on and the solenoid block sitting on those two hooks through the notches. Take your machine screw and your small little lock washer and line it up with your hole. Might need to niggle that over a little bit and then just go ahead and hook up all these pressure lines. One that was leaking out all kinds of water from the boiler. Go ahead and push that guy down in there. Gonna, I'm gonna get a clip. Center one, you can work this back and forth. Get those guys going, kind of like I'm doing. Blocks installed. Got a zip tie down here on this hose. 
uh, all our guys are in with clips. Now we're going to install uh, the pump, but before I do that, I want to throw on the mounts. So the upper mounts just got a hole in it like so. You just push it over. All right, and then we're going to put this um, this T on top. So there's this little spacer. Um, want to make sure you got that on correctly. Don't just leave it sitting aside. And thread on. Don't cross thread. Thread on. T here, remember it was kind of sitting over that way. We'll adjust it a little bit. And then we need to throw on uh, the bottom mount. You can see it's on here. We'll go ahead and pull it off the old uh, mount and place it on the new one. So next thing we need to do is go ahead and attach the hose uh, to uh, the inlet uh, and then put on our, our wire tie there. So I just get that guy on there. And then cut off the excess. Alright, so now we can go ahead and screw this guy in. Now we're going to hook up uh, all our electrical connections, um, put our hose on here, and, um, and fire this guy up. So, uh, first thing I want to do is insert this back down in here. Blue lead over here. I have a blue lead over there. Uh, orange here. Red up on this guy. Alright. The ground wires. Or the commons, whatever. Not commons, sorry, those are grounds. And then we'll hook this guy. Uh, back up down there. All right, so now all our electrical is uh, complete. Take our hose and install it on there. Get our zip tie. And yes, these zip ties are overkill, as you can see. But they're not getting in the way, and they're doing their job. All right, I'll make sure all our connections are good. We'll throw that back cover on. So suffice to say, you should do your due diligence and make sure this guy doesn't leak because I went to go put it back together and did one last check and found uh, plenty of water. Um, so what I did was I took the old solenoid block and pulled off um, the elbow from the end but really you could grab um, in here as well I'm sure there's o-rings and got the same uh, o-ring so now I'm gonna install that we're just gonna pull this guy it's gonna make a little mess here um, but I'm not gonna worry about it I'll clean it up later uh, plug is um, disconnected so just as before it's just gonna be a little bit more inconvenient. Pull your clip. Don't drop that sucker. Um, pull your line out. Slip your O-ring on. Spin it around a few times. Helps it get un untwisted. And then push the guy back down in there. Grab your clip. And you know what, this time we'll use some needle nose pliers and insert it in there. And that's it, easy as that. So now we'll, uh, we'll button this all back up and, um, and call it a day and espresso tomorrow morning. Yay!